going on, guys? Here with Hardy Tech. Welcome back to Pokemon Lakeland. I'm the Nuzlocke Rudd. And I have some idea what happened in the last episode. I think we just kind of went from one town to the other. And today we're going to be going through this cave. And a lot of people are saying you can get a dino in here. So I should leave an open space. But I kind of already got a Pokemon in this cave not knowing that. So it's not going to matter. And we're just going to continue on our merry way. So this is Mount Shuyum. Um, I have no idea how that's supposed to be pronounced. So... Anyways, today is one of those days where I feel like I have a lot to talk about, and whenever I feel like I have a lot to talk about, I'm like, go super excited into a commentary thinking, oh man, this is going to be great, I'm going to entertain like a ton of people, and then after like 30 seconds, I realize, I, why, why do you have a form of story? You're a youngster, how do you even like, isn't there like an age limit on this kind of stuff? Anyways, um, whenever I feel like I have a lot to talk about going into a commentary, I get like, excited about it because I'm like oh man this is gonna be a great video then after like 30 seconds into the video I realize like wow I didn't have nearly as much to talk about as I thought and then it it gets awkward because I'm just like yeah, um, potatoes but um I feel so today's one of those days where I feel like I have a lot to talk about which probably means I don't but um and you know the whole thing about like where I usually like when I think of something I want to talk about I can never do that at the same time as playing. Like, I don't know how some people do that where they talk about something completely different like while they're playing video games. A big example is, like, my I pretty much idol in the, po in the Pokemon world and YouTube world, Blacklight Attack. He can play Pokemon and just talk about something completely different the entire... Oh, it's a McCargo. He can talk about something completely different the entire video, and I don't understand how he can do that because it... it uh, okay, there we go. It just... It doesn't make sense. I don't understand, like, his weird logic. Um... Because I, I can't focus on the game and something else at the same time. It just, my mind won't work that way. And I find it really, like, impressive when, ew, that did a lot. When I watch, like, well, when he was doing his Platinum Egg Lock, like, he would go the entire video talking about something else and, like, not even mention the game the entire time. And that's, like, that's freaking impressive. I wish I could do that, but I can't. And it makes me, ooh, I have to remember what you did to Orion. Um, Dragon Breath, maybe we could paralyze you. Uh, oh, okay, we got the Paralyze off. Vital Throw isn't doing too much. I just have to be careful of Seismic Toss and another Drag Breath. Okay, fantastic. I was scared about that, but I, I didn't have too much to be scared about. I want to risk... Oh, I want to risk Orange using... Orange doesn't have Surf yet. Never mind. Um, so we'll just go with... Uh, we'll go with Dorito. I was going to go with Roxy or Rusty, but Rusty's a little low on HP right now, so... I'm, ooh, okay, well, I'm not going to play around with you if you're going to be like that. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Let's just Giga Drain again. So, anyways, like, basically the point I'm trying to get across here is, like, it's really inspiring whenever I see a Sandshrew. Orange can handle a Sandshrew. Whenever I see, like, Blacklight Attack do those videos where he doesn't even, like, talk about the game, and yet he can still stay focused and, like, not do bad and not just kill everything. That's so inspiring, and someday I will learn how to do that. But until then, I have to focus on the game, and I, like, ooh, oh, is that Flamethrower? That's completely useless because lava surf is the exact same thing so um i don't know what i'm going to be doing with flamethrower the cloud can learn flamethrower that's kind of interesting i could give cloud like flamethrower ice beam a dragon type move and an earthquake huh let's see well i don't know what the what moves does it have to cover i mean there's no way i should be having it in against an ice type but flamethrower could be well Flamethrower could be good against like grass and bug. Although if I, I'm probably gonna give Cloud Fly, so that actually covers both of those. So f Flamethrower doesn't actually is steal, but Earthquake covers that. If I give Earthquake to Cloud, I don't know. I might give Earthquake to Cluckers. Uh, you know, for now Flamethrower isn't gonna do anything. I still haven't given Shadow Ball to anybody because nobody can learn it. That's why. Anyways, um, are we out of this cave already? No, we're still in it. Yay. Um, unfortunately, I don't think the Pinwheel Claws applies here, mainly because I don't think the Pinwheel Claws, even though I made the Pinwheel Claws up, um, typically it would not apply to caves, because then you can get, like, those caves that have, like, ah, <laughs> that's scary. You can get those caves that have, like, ten different layers, and you can get, like, twenty Pokemon in there, and it's, it just, that's a little overpowered. Okay, well, that, those numbers didn't add up, but I think you guys understand what I'm trying to say in that, um, it typically only applies to like routes, like the route in Platinum where I ended up getting Lucario. Um, I don't remember what the other Pokemon I got in that route actually was, but I think that was like Route 204, which is split. Oh, um, hey, you're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? Yes, I don't want to be. I've also been. No, I don't want to battle you. I don't want to battle you. I don't want to battle you. I don't want to. No, 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 bad. No, I, I don't want to. No, I don't want to. Don't, don't do it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. 
No, please, no. Oh, God, no. You're going to do it, aren't you? Do you think this is how you achieve peace? No. I actually understand what you want out of life. I think we should work hard to achieve our ideals. Oh, 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 okay. You don't want to battle. Dude, oh, my God. You are now my favorite rival. Wow. <laughs> I like this guy. He's okay in my book. Um, well, to avoid another situation like that, let's give some hyper potions out because that scared the poop out of me. I do have some super potions, so I don't have to waste one on Dorito and... Okay, I was going to say which way do we have to go, but this is just an item. A burn heal, which actually I won't complain about because did I ever buy antidotes? I don't think I did. And now I'm actually quite upset with myself for that because if I remember correctly, I was getting poisoned a lot in the last video. Was I? I don't remember now. The last video was like quite some time ago and I really don't remember what happened. So, well, it wasn't quite some time. It wasn't that long ago. It was like two days ago, but um... I don't, I want to think like I was getting poisoned a lot and like, wow, I should buy some antidotes and I never did. But now like I'm thinking back, it's like, did that happen? I'm so confused. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't actually know why I'm using Roxy. Um, that's so, oh, that was a little close for comfort. Um, but Roxy managed to hold her own. So, oh man, there's so many Lyrons in here. You know what? I'm going to go with Cluggers and I'm just going to double kick you because I am, Getting so tired of every freaking trainer in here having a Lyron. Seriously, has every trainer in here had a Lyron so far? I haven't been paying attention, but it seems like they've been very, very, very unnecessarily pop. Okay, I saw that one coming. I freaking knew it. Oh, I better have an antidote. I'm going to be so upset if I don't. Did I? I don't think I bought any antidotes. Oh, God. I don't want to have to run all the way out of here. Uh, okay, let's at least get this Pokeball. Maybe it's an antidote. Maybe, maybe we'll get lucky and this will be an antidote. It's a timer ball, yay! Uh, oh, I want you! I want my Coronas back! Wait, was Coronas back on? I don't remember. Um, do I have a repel? Because that would make. Okay, I do have a repel. Uh, okay, we gotta try making it out of here without letting Orange die at 44 HP. I think. I think we might be able to make it out. I'm not sure. 39. Um. Are we going to make it? Let's see. 31. Oh, yeah, we made it just fine. Okay. Well, now I'm definitely buying some antidotes. I keep forgetting. I think I'm almost... No, I don't want to talk to you again. No. I'm almost positive I've had the same issue in the last episode where I kept wanting to go get antidotes, and I constantly forgot. So where is the... Oh, my God. There's no Pokemon here. Oh, my God. No. I don't want to... I don't want to run away back to the next town. It's so far away. Oh, well. Oh, well. We'll just risk it. It's not like anything's ever going to die in a Nuzlocke run. That never happens. We should be just fine. I actually think we got to take the top route. I don't think... I think the bottom route is the return route, and the top route's the go-to route. So, remember how in the beginning of this video I was talking about how, wow, I feel like I have a bunch of stuff to talk about today? And so far, I haven't talked about any of it. So, um, that's because I'm, like, so focused on the game. And eventually, I might get those things out. Okay, okay. I got... I actually just thought about this one, like, right before I started recording. I ended up thinking about this, so it seems like a good time to start talking about that, and that is, in the last episode, if you guys actually read a description or you paid any attention, you might have noticed that I think some levels changed, and um, my Zorua is actually evolved into a- oh, I- that didn't do that much. Um, my Zorua is actually evolved into a Zorowark, so oddly, like nobody questioned it, so I'm guessing most people actually took the time to read a description, which I very much appreciate, by the way. But, um, okay, it looks like we're continuing to train of every single trainer having a Lyron. Um, anyways, in, in the last episode and description of it, I ended up linking you guys to an epic grinding montage over on Team Caterpie, the one-time return of, well, I can't promise it's a one-time return of epic grinding montage, and, um, a lot of people seem, like, really happy it was back. I mean, people are like, don't get me wrong, I love story time, but, you know, I like the epic grinding montages as well. And for me, I just, I might, oh my god, I'm poisoned again, what the heck, be an antidote, please, be an antidote. Be an antidote. That's all I want. You're a hyper potion. Oh my god. Okay. Well, we already learned. I was going to say we already learned. I can make it out of here just fine. But, um, so I was just going to skip to it. But, I guess we'll just walk out. This will give me a chance to talk about what I... I don't want to freaking battle you. Do I have any more repels? Uh, I hate this game so much. I don't. This is going to get super annoying having to battle all these freaking trainers. Anyways, um, I don't understand, like, why people like the epic, the grinding montages so much. I know in, I refer to them as epic grinding montages, which makes them special and amazing, by the way, so don't forget that. Um, 
how much do I have? There's 70. Oh, yeah, I'm fine. I just, I don't really understand, like, why people find them so fascinating, like, watching grinding for a few minutes with music in the background. Um, especially the fact that, like, you literally cannot go a freaking Pokemon video, it seems, without seeing grinding in the beginning. Like, I remember way back, I think it was in, like, the second episode of my first Emerald Randomizer, um, was when I did my very first grinding montage, and that was, like, that was a new idea back then. Like, nobody had ever, well, I can't, oh my god, I have to go through the woods. <laughs> You know, no, no, I'm sorry, no, I, I will get some in the next town, I just, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't freaking do it, I, it's so far away, and I know I'm just gonna have to keep running back, because I'm just gonna constantly get poisoned, but, we just, if anything, like, I'll just keep feeding orange hyper potions, because I have a feeling we're, like, almost through this cave, and it's just, literally, orange is just, like, orange blocking us, poison blocking us, from getting through this cave, and, well, so are these wild Pokemon, they're annoying the poop out of me very much, but, um, as I was saying, I don't understand what people find so fascinating about the epic grinding mod- uh, grinding montages. I'm trying not to refer to them as epic grinding montages, because I'm, like, the only person that calls them that. But, um, what- I, I don't understand, like, what people find so unique. Like, when I start doing story time, it's because I realized, like, um, everybody- I, every- seemed like every Pokemon video I watch now, it started off with, like, three to four minutes of grinding, and that is just- it got really, really, like, boring to me, because it was cool at first, but then when you start to see, like, every Pokemon video you ever watch, it's the beginning of it is just grinding, 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 grinding. It's like, okay, we get it. You had to level up your Pokemon. Can we, like, end this now? So, and then, um, I'm like, you know, what, what if we make the grinding a little more interesting? And that's when I came up with the idea for story time. Um, well, originally, I was just going to do, like, random post commentary over the grinding like I did Actually, I didn't do any of those. Like, I don't know where story time actually like, came from. It just kind of came out of the blue one day. But um, if you poison, oh, I'm a poison type. I can't be poisoned. <laughs> Sans last you suck. Goodbye. Um, I don't really know like where I came up with the idea for story time. I'm not really 100% sure. But um, basically, it was just a, just a diff indifferent. And I don't understand. Basically, the point of trying, I'm trying to get across is I don't know why people like the grinding montages so much when it's literally just music because it's on every freaking Pokemon video on YouTube it seems it has grinding montages in them now and it's just becoming like egg locks you know it was really cool at first and for some people some reason people really still like them oh my god diamond not now I'm trying to talk but it's really just kind of run its course and I'm really waiting for this egg lock face to dies it was like the same thing with emerald randomizer for a while literally the only videos it seems like you could find of pokemon were emerald randomizer videos and now it's egg lock you know everybody and their mother is doing egg lock runs and that's cool that's fantastic that's great but um you never know, think like maybe maybe we should you know do something else <laughs> Instead of just constant egg lock runs. Like, I remember talking to Hood on Scrappy on Skype, and he was telling me he wasn't going to do another egg lock run until next year. And then he's like, oh my god, what is he sending out? I didn't see. Oh my god. I want to think it's a Samurai, but that doesn't seem right. <laughs> was it? Oh my god, I got it right. Wow. What? <laughs> I can't believe I got that right. Um, And then, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Um... And basically, as I was saying, is and then all of a sudden, Hoodum Scrafty's doing yet another Nuzlocke run, so, um, it's just like, wow, <laughs> stop with the egg locks, okay? I don't know, I think I might have said Nuzlocke run before, but, the egg locks, man, we get it, they're fun, they're popular, but, I, I remember when Blacklight Attack did his, that was like the first time I'd ever seen an egg lock run before, and it was cool back then, because like, no one had ever done one before, and then I did mine, and then my Blaze Black 2 Nuzlocke run inspired Hoodlum Scrafty to start his. And then he just kind of like blew up the world with his. And now everybody is like got inspired from Hoodlum Scrafty to do egg locks. And ooh, Route 411, that means we could catch a new Pokemon. I don't want to battle you, old man. So I'm going to walk down here and battle you anyways. So the, Hood the egg lock run fiasco going on right now can be blamed solely on Hoodlum Scrafty. Don't get me wrong, I love the guy. I think he's amazing, but... It's all his fault, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, Callum. I'm just joking around here, you know. No hate towards you in any way. But, um, seriously, I'm just, like, waiting for the egg lock phase to die. And for, like, the next phase of YouTube to come in. Because I am so ready for it. I'm not going to lie. I am just really tired of just seeing, like, nothing but egg locks in my... Oh, my God. This is going to kill me. This is going to kill me. This is going to kill me. Dorito, no. I was, thought he was going to go for rock slide again. Oh, ho, ho. Dorito. 
Alright. <sighs> this is actually stupid because I know he has Rock Slide. Let's Dragon Breath. Paralyzed. Oh, I was hoping he'd get paralyzed. Okay, actually, that did like nothing. Wow. That did a really pathetic amount for being super effective. Uh, Sanchu. Orange. I need to rally on you here. Wow, I don't think I have any grass backups either, which. Part of that's like, you know, I don't really know what I need a, back a grass type for. Like, the main reason why I liked. Um, Dorito so much was because he could stall the poop out of people. I mean, seriously, he was a, just. Uh, he was very, very good at stalling, and I'm like, wow, what do I do against him? Cluckers and Roxy are like my fighting type guys, and they're both weak to ground. So, I kind of want to stay in with Orange, but at the same time, that's scary because he's so underleveled. Uh, but Orange is just so bulky, he could probably take hits. Um, and, the, wow, I really should give Orange, like, now that I'm thinking about it, I should give Orange Water Pulse because Water Gun is just so weak. But let's heal up just to see what he's going to do. He's going to Swagger, which... Oh, it's a Crocodile. I was thinking it was a Crocodile. Okay, I probably could have used my Crocodile then. And you're gonna dig. Okay, I actually don't mind that that much. I will just um, switch into... I will... Yeah, you know, I can switch into Cloud. I'm sure I can work out something here. Just, um... Super... Oh, I'm out of Super Potions. Oh, good. I gotta use my Hyper Potions for 50 HP. Yay! Swagger. That's... Oh, I hate this move so much. Seriously... I swear, Swagger has like a higher chance of hitting yourself in confusion. I, I can't prove this, but I'm so positive that it is true, because so often when I'm swaggered, I hit myself. It is uncanny how often it happens, and I know it's conspiracy. It's the same thing that Rattatas and Spearows get critical hits more than any other Pokemon. I can't prove this is a fact, but I know it's true. I believe in my heart that this is true that they have a higher critical hit ratio than any other Pokemon in the series, and someday I will find a way to prove this, and I'm going to sue Nintendo for that, because it will be their fault. Anyways, let's let's catch our Pokemon for this route is... Oh, ooh, I don't need another Dragon or a Ground type. Man, I already have like three Dragon types. I don't need another one. And I already have... I think I have a backup ground type. I, actually, I don't think I have a backup ground type. But, um... Whatever. We'll catch you anyways. Trap inches are awesome. I actually really like Flygon, but... I actually, I haven't had a Flygon before. The closest I had was a Vibrava, and it ended up dying. My Mosquito. I remember him. I, I'm gonna nickname you Mosquito, too. Just because we were talking about Emerald Randomizer earlier, and that is the game I had my Mosquito in. So, good times. And he ended up dying to a, um... Uh... What is it called? A Pineco, I believe, used Explode on my Mosquito and killed it. And that made me, like, beyond sad. I was very hurt. What is... What? How does Lava Surf miss? Doesn't it have 100% accuracy? Oh, do you have Sand Veil? I don't remember if that's an ability in this game. But Ice Beam is a move, and we just learned it, and that's awesome sauce. Okay, I don't know how we're supposed to get that Pokeball. I don't want to battle these trainers. I just want to get to the stupid Pokemon Center and put my stupid dead Dorito in the stupid box because he's stupid dead and it makes me stupid sad and there's just stupid nothing I can stupid do about it except for except the fact that he's stupid dead and be st stupid sad. So, stupid. Hitmonlee, uh, Cloud, I guess. Since, I don't know, if, no, Dragon doesn't resist fighting because um, Hydreigon is weak to fighting. Which is fun. I remember, I believe I one time beat a Hydreigon with a Fighting type move, and I I think that was like a time I slipped someone with a Girder, and they had a um, not a Hydreigon. I think they had a um, Zuelos, and ended up like one shotting it with like Mock Punch or whatever, and I thought that was fun. And I I didn't think, oh that's scary, don't kill me. Okay, um, I was like really scared when he did the, when he brought out the Zuelos because. I didn't think I'd be able to one-shot it, because I'm like, oh, Dragon resists fighting, because Dragon resists everything, because blah, 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 because hate me. I, blah. But it doesn't, and I killed it, and I was like, whoa, I'm evil and overpowered, and wah, ha, ha. And that was a nice day. That's, wait, what Pokemon did I say I swept with? Because I think I was a Girder, and I think I said something else earlier. I don't remember, but um, I swept with a Girder, and all the things I wanted to talk about in this video, I haven't talked about a single one yet. And I feel like I'm, like, letting myself down. And another person's going to want to battle me, so... 
Um, Cluckers really needs a Hyper Potion. So does... Uh, so does Cloud. Oh my god, I'm going to have to spend so much money at the next Pokemart. And I assume I have quite a bit of money right now, but that doesn't mean I want to spend it. I want to keep all my money to myself, because that's what I like to do with money. But, um... I kind of want to bring out Orange and, like, Ice Beam, but it's kind of risky. I'm going to go with Cloud. I don't think Vibrava has a Dragon-type move yet. Oh, actually, do you get Dragon Breath when you evolve? I don't remember. You know what? It doesn't matter. You're dead anyways. Um, that made me paranoid. Hippopotas. Ooh. Hippopotas is the smaller version because Hippowdon is the fully evolved. So we will go with our brand new Ice Beam and just annihilate you and laugh at you because it's going to be fun and you're dead and ho ho ho. Um, as I was going to say, I, I had something like, I was taking a shower before I recorded this, which I wasn't even like planning on doing this video and when I was in the shower, I'm just like, hey, I want to play Pokemon. So, this kind of is very spontaneous commentary, which there's nothing wrong with that. Spontaneous commentaries are awesome. But, um, when I was in there, like, there was something I really wanted to talk about, and now I'm like, I'm afraid to talk about it because I know right when I do start talking about it, I'm going to like, get distracted and either something bad in the game is going to happen. Or I'm that super effective. No, it's not. <laughs> or I'm going to get distracted and I'll never actually finish the story. So I think I'll actually save it for like the next grinding montage. I'll talk about this. And of course, I would have to miss. Why am I even missing? It's freaking Sand Veil. The stupidest ability in Pokemon. And I hate it very much. That's... I, I didn't even think Sand Veil... Oh, I didn't think Sand Veil was even like... Oh, that's... I'm really low on HP. Maybe I'll even I'll get this phrase out someday. I didn't realize Sand Veil was a third gen ability. I thought that was a f fourth or fifth gen ability. But apparently in this game, and like every freaking Pokemon in this goddamn place has it. And that's just so fantastic because it's making me so happy right now. <sighs> what is a bug catcher? Oh, it's a Scraggy. I wish I would have catch in the name you Callum. Route 411. What is a bug catcher doing out here? Can somebody answer that question? Because I don't understand. And Cluckers needs yet another Hyper Potion. The amount of hyper, you know what? I want to, I want to go to that book catcher and like see what he has to say. Because the fact that he's just randomly chilling out here is ent enticed me. Hello, sir. In the desert, there are only ground type Pokemon, no bug types. Yeah. Um. No. No, there's not. Okay then. Just that's all you. Oh, oh, it's Pokeball. It's Pokeball. I, I bet that Pokeball is gonna be the Pokeball in this game. Like, if you catch this Pokeball, you just automatically win the game. That's how built power. Okay, never mind. It's a freaking revive. <laughs> You're not funny. So, we're never gonna get through this desert, and we're never gonna get to the next town. And this is starting to make me kind of sad because I'm gonna run out of hyper potions very soon. And if that happens, I'm pretty much as good as dead. And I really should have switched out here because that's two intimidates now. And I'm not able to one-shot you. You're going to swagger. Why? Why? Why do you think that's funny? Why do you think it's okay to use swagger, you horrible excuse for a Pokemon? Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to be faster, so let's just mud slap for the heck of it. Dig is going to do nothing to us. Now we can attempt to actually kill this thing using Crunch. It's probably not going to work, but no, it did kill it. Never mind. I, actually, we, I can't believe we actually did something right, and we got to accomplish something. Now I can go into Orange, maybe try to Ice Beam the Strober, maybe actually accomplish something useful in my life instead of just every day I did want to do something every time I just try to play Pokemon. It just goes so badly, and I just don't understand. Why do I do this to myself? Why do I play these stupid god dark Pokemon videos where nothing happens except I just make myself incredibly upset, and I just don't know why I have to do this to myself or your guys' entertainment, and no one ever just comes up to me and says, Thank you, Hardy, for making your life so freaking miserable that every time you do something you just want to break and just I did not mean to say rape but I meant just want to like rip your hair out of your head and just do horrible things to people because it just makes you so freaking frustrated Pokemon uh, oh my god no no do I have to teach strength to somebody okay I thank god I have strength oh my god if I didn't get strength in the last town I would probably be like yelling out of rage right now speaking of rage let's get rid of that I would be legit like really really angry if i didn't get strength and i'd have to go back and find it and i just picked that up by luck because i had no idea it was there i was just like randomly talking to people and this guy's like hey here's strength i'm like oh dude you're so freaking awesome thank you so that guy now gets a cookie for his pure awesomeness and i think i think we're almost out of this desert and i just i don't want to be here anymore but it's just constant trainers and i saw that purple haired person in like the bottom of the screen and now i'm really worried that's a rival battle and that's just, like the last thing i want to have to deal with right now is another freaking rival battle but the good thing is orange is getting a ton of xp and it's almost up to level with Ooh, i thought you were a ball toy that's scary and so is that but hopefully i can one nope not even close uh, I, well, that's, I was going to say, hopefully I can one-shot you, and that, I was right, that wasn't even close to a one-shot, so, 
Well, luckily, Ancient Power isn't doing anything, anything really, and he's not getting the stat boosts. Speaking of stat boost, wow, okay. I probably deserve that, and now because of the stat boost, he's going to live, and I'm going to have to use another Hyper Potion, and I desperately need to... F oh my god, no. No, 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 orange, no, or Wow, dude, orange, what the heck? You don't even care, you took that like a boss. Nice. Jeez. He took super, uh, freaking super effective ancient power, like, oh, no, 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 I went to heal up first, I don't want to battle you. Oh, it's just Professor Jasmine. Wow, Hardy, it's been a while, friend and future Pokemon master. After repeated analysis of the ancient scripture, I've discovered that this is the first of a set of three. My research has led me to believe that I should be able to find the second part of the scripture here in the middle of Chromer Desert. By joining the three tablets, we may find ourselves in the mystery of the creation of all Pokemon, and find out what is agitating all the legendary Pokemon and causing them to fight amongst themselves. This mystery should be solved as soon as possible because the world is in grave danger. I'll take the second tablet of my lab in Yellowtown and continue my research and find the end of the story before these fights between the legendary Pokemon destroy the world. Hardy, if you find the last part of the turf, you're please bring it to my lab immediately. For now, I'll study this. Flygon, use fly. Flygon, use fly. That's like, fly. That, that, okay, see, think about like the insect fly. It's like, that flygon, use fly. What's with that? Hmm? <laughs> I'm so funny. I'm not funny, am I? Oh, are we still on Route 111? Gromort City. Oh my god, we're almost out of this place. No, we got one more battle. Okay, okay, I think this is it for the Hyper Potions, and we'll be able to get through this place. Oh my god, no, there's a fat guy up there. Oh, why do the fat guys always... Oh, you're actually really scary. Wow. Um, orange, I think Orange can safely switch in. Orange is... Oh, that's kind of scary. That's even more scary, the fact that I... That's doing over half, and he's probably just going to keep going for Earthquake, which is a fantastic move. Seeing this, I should probably use my brain and switch into Cloud, because Cloud isn't affected by Earthquake. I, wow, now you would use takedown, and you would miss, of course, right when I switch out. That's real cool. That did a lot of damage. I think I could take one more. I'm not 100% sure. Rock slide. I don't think I could take another one of those. No. Cloud, no. Oh, no. Cloud, do you know I can't risk Earthquake? I can't use Risk Dig because he has Earthquake, so I have to go for Crunch. Do you know how long it took to train that stupid Swablu just for you to murder him? <laughs> At least he evolved. I swear, if he would have died at 34, I probably would have, like, legit gone insane. But, oh my god, the sadness I'm feeling. Oh no, get out of my way. I love Pokemon City, Pokemon Center, it's a great place for story your Pokemon. No, move, 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 you bitch, move. No, move. <laughs> move. Move. I have two dead Pokemon. Why are you doing this to me? Huh? Oh, oh, you moved. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Why were you standing right there of all places? That is a horrible, horrible place to be sitting. Anyways, we now have two spots open on our team. So... This does open up a chance for Koopa, who I've been wanting to use for a while. And we have Dratini or Mosquito V2 to replace the now open, um, or, or, well, I don't want to bring another ground type, because we do have Larvitar, but, um, in the meantime, let's put Clown, oh, man, I'm missing so much already. We had two deaths this episode, that's really bad luck, because we've been doing really good this so far, and then we just have two deaths, so that's kind of scary. Um, I kind of want to bring Koopa. And I have a fighting type already, so Ryalu, who I still have to take to the name raider. Wayne, no. It's kind of between... I don't... I want to use Dratini, but he's really not useful until he becomes a Dragonite at 55. And that's a lot of training. And we probably won't be at 55 for a while. Uh, Mosquito is useful when he evolves into Vibrava. But he's really, really horrible as a Trap Inch. Um, but I don't need another ground type. I don't need another dark type. I have a water type. I have a fire type. So pretty much like uh, I don't know. Wait, oh, yes. Um maybe there's a maybe someone gives us something useful in this town. I should actually go check that out. So let's walk around and see if anybody gives us any exciting Pokemon. Cause um although I have a feeling it's probably just gonna be like a ground type or whatever. Let's see. Um and actually I don't know. It doesn't it seems like the Pokemon they give away don't really aren't affected by like the gym at all because we just got like random Zoroas and stuff like that so it's not going to be in there um hello where is our gift pokemon for this town please can you somebody tell us i bet it's this guy i bet it's this guy oh it does with the ticket can enter the museum ha <laughs> screw you okay never mind i actually do need a ticket um 
It's gotta be some kind of gift Pokemon that we're missing here. And we gotta find out. Okay, this door's locked. Why is that locked? What are they hiding in there? What secrets do they have in that room? Hmm. I don't know, and I don't I don't like this. I think they're keeping something from us. And Oh, cool, soft hand. Actually, I probably will give that to um to Crocodile. So there's gotta be some kind of gift Pokemon here. This is driving me insane. I need it. I need some kind of six Pokemon, and I don't know who to use. Um, you, I'm looking for a Torkoal for my Onyx. No, I do have a Torkoal, so theoretically I could do that. But, and we would get a Steelix out of it, which is actually cool. Steelix is are pretty awesome. But um, I don't know. Did we already check this house? Yeah. Maybe there is no gift Pokemon in this town. Maybe they're just. It's like the first one where you don't get anything. I'm not... Did we check this house? Um, well, what did this guy say? I'm good at selling vitamins. Oh, well, that's actually kind of interesting to know that he sells vitamins. <gasps> I will I will go to the store, don't worry. I guess I guess there's no gift Pokemon here. So I will... Ooh, what is this? Uh, Mount Ziri. I can catch a new Pokemon here. You know what? This may be able to solve our problem. It's... <gasps> Ooh, oh, but I just got a Psychic type on my team. <laughs> God dang it. I just can't win. I'm, I'm just like never going to have a perfect party again. All because Dorito died. Oh, I just realized you're a psychic type. All because Dorito died. I'll probably never have a perfect party again. So let's go with Ultra Ball. Maybe we can catch this thing. I haven't used a Bronzor or Bronzong before. So that would be interesting. I'm going to nickname you. Um, I'm going to nickname you... Oh man, I can't think of any names right now, so I'm gonna just nickname you. Uh. Uh. Ke Keckles. Yeah. Okay, cool name. Um, <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna leave this up to you guys. Who should I bring? Should I bring either Ralts or should I bring, um, the other Pokemon I just caught the cat that I can't remember his name? Should I bring one of those two? And who should I bring as my six Pokemon? I don't know. I can't decide. And there's just so many Pokemon. Anyways, next time we'll probably be doing some grinding before we take on a gym, and then we'll be taking on a gym. And if there is a gift Pokemon in this town that I'm missing, please tell me, because I can't seem to freaking find it anywhere. And until next time, I'm Hardy Tech Yo-Yo. Thank you for watching. Peace!